Rosas! from the hill, framed by silver sycamore trees. A sunny little fishing port where sailboats slept along the quays. Padstow. Down on the Cornish coast, famous for wrecks and ships gone wrong. Today, the arbor is sanded up, and the fishing fleet stays home. Here, miss, I'd like to see this hobby horse that dances here on the 1st of May. Here, wait. Please come back, young lady. There, scared her. Now, what did I say? And then, I twigged this sailor, sitting lazy in the evening sun, playing a strange old melody on his old accordion. You look to be a native son. I, I hate to interrupt your funny song, but could you tell me about this hobby horse and how the whole thing's carried on? I'm the secretary of the all House party. And I lead the music on May morning. Charlie Bate is my name. Now, I built this hobby horse in Padstow. Nobody don't seem to know the origin of it. Some people say it's 2,000, 3,000, some say it's 4,000 years old. But we people here in Padstow, in Cornwall, know that it's very old. And we shall make sure that the old hobby house comes out into the streets on May Day for a long, long time to come. Now, if you want to see the old Abbey House come out, come up with me now and see the whole box of tricks. Come on. Now, I didn't know just where I was going or who I was going to meet, but I followed my strange conductor along the old and narrow streets, for I'd heard that this Padstow dance dated back to pagan times. A, a sexy, savage springtime ride. <laughs> but I hadn't a clue what I'd find. Come on in and meet the boys. They're sort of warming up for May Day. You didn't expect to see this sort of dancing in Cornwall. Real good stuff, isn't it? Come on, I wouldn't have a drink. Hey, Charlie, where's this hobby horse? Well, it's right in front of your nose. Those two lads will both be playing the horse tomorrow. there now waiting, waiting for the hours to roll by, waiting for the old town clock to strike the hour of midnight. Now this here old cult, so the scholars say, was one of our religions when we lived in caves. I can't say whether it's druidic or neolithic, but you've got to admit this Padstow Oss dance is pretty terrific. Now, come on, Colonel, you speak for yourself. Well, gentlemen, this is May Day now. This is May Day, the first of May. 
And we just started out for, out for the golden land, the golden land. And all the boys is outside waiting for Colonel. Night, thunder, as soon as we hear the town clock strike the hour of midnight, our Aussie choir starts singing the night song. There's Mrs. Coots, the landlady of the Golden Lion, and her daughter Winnie. Rise up, Mrs. Coots, and gold be your ring, for summer is a come unto day. And give to us a cup of ale, and the merrier we will sing in the merry morning of May. Rise up, Mr. Smith. Rise up, Mr. Brown. We sing the night song in all the town. We'll tromp through your gardens and march through your lanes. Our chorus rattles the window panes. in their tins and banging their drums, the kids tell Padstow that May Day has come. While deep in the woods, where they can't be seen, the Orcs Committee cuts the fresh May green. On the sly like. He uh, got to get permission, you know, from the squire herself, eh? But sometimes you take French leave. Well, I was caught once and, um, the steward, uh, he come along and I was up the tree and he said, uh, what are you doing up there? Well, I said, what do you think I'm doing up here? Cutting sycamore, aren't I? He said, you'll hear more about this. Well, I said, do what you can for me. I said, you killed Joey. Hello there, Charlie. Good morning. I see you're up early this morning. We've been on for hours now decorating the town. I warn you, young men, everyone for... Cutting down sycamore and ash boughs, bringing them down through the street, making them fast around the telegraph poles, down outside the Golden Lion. Old Colonel's in charge of that part of it, but the rest of us, we've got to get the maypole up. Got to get the garlands all fixed up and hanging, primroses, cowslips and bluebells. The children, they've been out this past week, picking all these spring flowers from the meadows. And if you look out of the windows from 10 o'clock onward on May the 1st, you'll see Padstow outside of the Golden Lion. And when I say Padstow, I mean Padstow. Padstonians. And after bidding you welcome, I must say a word of thanks to our squire, Mr. John Prudhoe Brune. Hey, Charlie, who's this? Oh, this is Mr. Chapman, our local greengrocer. He's in charge of all the decorations for the hobby horse. Well, when can we see this horse? They're just leading them out of the stable now at the back of the lion. How you feeling, Colonel? Did let it ask my day. There's no one in the world will never stop me from May Day. Ah, because I really love it. I love May Day. That's my day because, you know, um, the gentleman's, you know, around in plenty of ale, you see. Hey, what does that contraption weigh? Well, I do say it weighs three quarters on the way. Oh, it is hard work. I had no mistake about it. When I jump inside of it, I dare say in less than a quarter of an hour, I can wring out a pint of beer out of my shirt. Pretty hot in there, eh? Oh, uh, what? Hot? Oh, very, very, very hot. Oh, my God, it's not to kill you. And now we come to the question of our oldest member who is 84, old Mac. And I don't expect anybody that's in the crowd now can remember the old ass coming out without him. But he's, but he's here again today, though he's sitting at the back of the Golden Lion, 
in this bath chair. But he's come down specially to see that the arse is brought out correctly. And that reminds me that at about 80 years ago, some of the most influential people in Padstow did everything possible to prevent the old arse being brought out. But a few faithful ones, and old Mac, he did it at the risk of losing their jobs. The old arse came out. And it's out again this year. So, all together, give three hearty cheers for Mac and the old arse. Arse arse! We are! Arse arse! We are! Arse arse! Mac, he's 84 now, and his dancing days are over. And he's handing the club over to his little grandson, Willie. And believe you me, little Willie is a grand dancer. take the traditional route, turn left, outside of the Golden Lion, and we go up Church Lane, right up Place Hill, then down to Oak Terrace. Well, there in Oak Terrace lived Mr. William. He was a real old male, but a little bit old now, he doesn't have much to do with it. They wouldn't feel right at all all the year if the horse didn't come and visit them on May morning. They'd kind of feel neglected. Unite and unite and let us all unite, for summer is the coming today. And whither we are going, we all will unite in the merry morning of May. He's laid down and died, old oh dear. He's laid down and died. Oh, where is King George? Oh, where is he? Oh? He's out in his longboat, all on the salt sea. Oh. Up flies the kite, down falls the lark. Oh. And Ursula Birdhood, she had an old yo, and it died in her old park. Oh. Resurrection. The thump of that club is a springtime sound that brings the crops up out of the ground. The horse leaps up and so does the grain. And the old folks feel right young again. Where are the maidens that here now should sing for? Summer is a common today. They are in the meadows, the flowers gathering in the merry morning of May. Arise up, Miss Margaret, all in your gown of silk, for summer is a common today. And all your body under as white as any milk in the merry morning of May. On Down in the market, by this time, mind you. There's crowds down in the market, and we have a real good dance around the mix. Watch Margaret there. She's a real Padstonian. 
This happened to Margaret's mother, and it's got to happen to Margaret. She's got to go under the old horse's skirt. Look out, Margaret! <laughs> In the old days, the horse was covered with tar. And uh, if a girl got the tar smudge on her, they did say that that meant the girl would be married by Christmas. I took that horse from 10 o'clock in the morning to 8 o'clock in the evening without a break. But I'm very sorry to say I can't do it now. But all the same, I got my sons here who follow their father's footsteps. I must say, sir, when I'm gone west, I hope the horse will come down on my graveyard and dance over it. Now we fare you well and bid you all good cheer, for summer is a come unto day. We'll fall no more unto your house before another year in the merry morning of May. Hey, that was a nice tune. How does it go again? Nice and you know.